Get the most out of your TV with Canto's PDX650 Full Motion TV Mount. Designed for 37 to 75 inch TVs, the PDX650 supports 125 pounds and accommodates up to 16 inch stud spacing. Its heavy duty steel arms reach an impressive 21.8 inches from the wall when fully extended and feature a wishbone design allowing you to maneuver your TV into the most optimal viewing position. Roll your TV to ensure it's perfectly level, pan it left and right, and swivel it up to 80 degrees in either direction, depending on screen size. The PDX650 also provides up to 18 degrees of tilt, helping to reduce glare and improve line of sight with your TV. To help keep your viewing area tidy, the PDX650 includes integrated cable management clips, and can be pushed back to sit two inches from the wall when not in use. Hey guys, Andy Medfield here, looking at the Equigear EGL F2, and we'll be talking about some of the adjustments that you can make after you've installed this bad boy on the wall. So as you can see here, we got a situation where our TV just is not wanting to stay where we want it to be from a tilt perspective. So we'll go ahead and we'll take advantage of the tilt knob that's on the back of this guy. Set your tilt to where you want it to be. And then again, this one's kind of cool. You go ahead and you can go up and over. Just keep turning, right? And when you get to the bottom, you can push it up. Just keep turning until you get it good and snug. Again, if you're worried about it hitting the back of the TV, a couple ways you can deal with that is again, you can put spacers on the back of your TV to help ensure that again, it doesn't hit the back of that TV there. Otherwise, again, you can certainly just back it off just a little bit. You still got it good and snug there, but it's not gonna hit the back of that TV when you gotta retract it in. No longer tipping forward, backwards, nothing like that. We're all set to go there. Something that you might wanna consider is if you're doing some leveling, right? As you can see, it kind of just does its own thing. Maybe you got it off to one side and unfortunately it's tipping one way or it's not ideal for your situation. So we'll take a look at the post install leveling as well. Use the included hex key that comes with the EGL F2 itself and come on back here and there's two screws on the back of the, uh, the TV mount itself right here on the bottom that you can go ahead and simply loosen up. So again, use that hex key, right? Loose enough, not super loose. But again, loose enough that you can obviously easily make your adjustment, set it back to where you want it to be. Righty tighty, tighten them down. Do both of them, right? And as you can see here, get back to where you want it to be. It no longer has that tilting issue, should be good and snug and exactly as you want it to be.